This is the TV44 High School Wiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi, everybody. It's a new season here at TV44. This is the fall edition of TV44's High School Wiz Quiz 2017. Some of the brightest minds are going to be gathered for the championship. We have 16 teams from around this part of the state. And our first game, you're going to see Van Wert take on Defiance. And a little bit later, Wayne Trace will face off against Coldwater. We want to also welcome back our judge for this season, Mark Dickman. Hopefully, we won't have to use him too much, but if we have any questions about our questions, we will refer to him. All right, we're going to introduce you now to our players joining us from Van Wert. We have Natalie Schreiber, Emma Rutkowski, Chloe Brake, and Wesley Wagner. And Van Wert is coached by Anita Zuber. Welcome to all of you. Okay, turning now to Defiance High School, we have Connor Black, Maddie Carollis, Ava Dirk, and Ethan McCabe, and Defiance is coached by James Kerr. Welcome to all of you. All right, a lot of new players. We have a couple of returners. Um, if you remember correctly, we have our first set of questions. They're all worth 10 points apiece. Up for grabs, make sure you get your buzzers ready and speak loudly and clearly when you answer the questions, okay? That's really important for us, all right? Everybody ready? Take a deep breath and let's enjoy this, okay? Here we go, question one. What city has the Mets and the Jets teams? Yes, that'd be Defiance. New York City. New York City is correct. You're gonna have to speak up for me. Question two, which U.S. president <coughs> was born Bill Blythe? time is up the answer is Bill Clinton all right three who wrote Animal Farm yes that would be Van Wert George Orwell George Orwell is correct in what city did the Occupy Wall Street movement begin yes that would be defiance New York City New York City is correct all right, question five. Again, let's speak up and be clear with your answers. In what sport is the Stanley Cup awarded? Yes, defiance. Hockey. Could you be more specific? Ice hockey. That would be incorrect. So, Van Wert, you've got a chance to try this one. Soccer. Soccer is <clears throat> also incorrect. The answer we're looking for is the national Hockey League or NHL. All right, question number six. The pro teams, Lions and Tigers, are from, yes, Defiance. Detroit. Detroit is correct. Moving on to question seven now. What president signed the law to allow the words under God to the U.S. Pledge of Allegiance? Yes, that would be Defiance. Uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. So, Van Wert, you want to try it? All right, the answer is Eisenhower. All right, three questions remain in your first round. For what sport is Harry Potter a seeker? Yes, it would be Van Wert. Quidditch. Quidditch is correct. What pig was spared death in the story Yes, that would be Van Wert. Wilbur. Wilbur is correct in Charlotte's Web. And your final question in round one of your game. What TV show was introduced in the year 2002, giving the average citizen a chance to showcase their vocal talent? Yes, that would be Defiance. Uh, American Idol. American Idol is correct. All right, we've come to the end of our first round between Defiance High School and Van Wert. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back with rounds two and three right after. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you and by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, 
Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. Well, welcome back, everyone. We are right in the middle of our first game of the season between Defiance and Van Wert High Schools. Our score right now, Defiance has 40 points, Van Wert with 30. That means, Defiance, you're going to lead the second round with um, your five questions. They're all yours, so you don't have to buzz in, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one. What document starts when in the course of human events? Yes. Uh, Declaration of Independence. That is correct. All right, question number two. Which U.S. military branch had only 50 members when World War I broke out? Air Force. Air Force is correct. All right, number three. Which U.S. president adamantly disliked broccoli? Time is up. The answer is George H.W. Bush. All right, two more questions in this round. What is the United States' southernmost state? Hawaii. Hawaii is correct. All right. And your final question. Name the silversmith made famous for the 1775 Midnight Ride. Paul Revere. Paul Revere is the answer. All right, very good. Now, Van Wert, your turn with five questions <coughs> worth five points apiece. Which president was shot in 1865 while attending the theater? Lincoln. Could you be specific? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is correct. What Soviet dictator trained to be a priest? Stalin. Stalin is correct. We will take that. And what single name is applied to Holy Roman Emperor Charles the Great? Charlemagne. Charlemagne is the answer. And you have two questions left. Who invented the phonograph? Edison. I'm sorry? Edison. We'll take that as well. Edison is correct. And your final question, what is Lucy's last name in the comic strip Peanuts? The answer is Van Pelt. All right, we've come to the end of two rounds. Our score right now, Van Wert with 50 points. Defiance, you have 60. This is our final round with 10 questions. We're 10 points apiece. Again, they're all up for grabs. Get ready with those buzzers. And please speak up, okay? Which structure was designed to simply be part of the 1889 World Fair but became the most famous landmark in Paris? Yes, Defiance. The Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower is correct. Who was the leader of the brutal Khmer Rouge government? Time is up. The answer is Pol Pot. All right, moving into question number three now. What famous director directed the movie E.T.? Yes, Defiance. Uh, Steven Spielberg. You are correct. Question four. What was the name of President Kennedy's wife? Yes, Defiance. Jacqueline. Jacqueline is correct. Number five, Angel Falls, being the highest waterfall in the world, is located in what country? Defiance. Brazil. Brazil is incorrect. Van Wert, you've got a chance with this. Yes. Venezuela. You are correct, Venezuela. All right, question number six. What is the largest city in Maryland? Yes, Defiance. Baltimore. Baltimore is the answer. In 1937, this became the longest single-span bridge in the world. Yes, Defiance. The Golden Gate Bridge. Golden Gate Bridge is correct. All right, three questions remaining in your game. In which U.S. state is the USA's highest mountain? Yes, Defiance. Alaska. Alaska is correct. What is the largest man-made structure in the world? Yes, Van Wert. The Great Wall of China. 
That is correct, the Great Wall of China. And here's your final question in your game. Which Amelia was nicknamed the Winged Legend? Yes, Van Wert. Amelia Earhart. That is correct, Amelia Earhart. All right, great job, teams. We have come to the end of your game, though, and our winner, Defiance, with 120 points. Van Wert, you put up a good fight with 80 points. So congratulations, Defiance. You'll be moving on in competition. And coming up next, you're going to see Wayne Trace take on Coldwater. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. Right. Welcome back, everyone. We just wrapped up a game between Van Wert and Defiance High Schools. Defiance High School came out the winner, and we are moving into another game between Wayne Trace and Coldwater. You're going to see some familiar faces in these teams. All right, let's introduce you to um, Coldwater. We have joining us Alex Waltmeyer, Jesse Jenkins, Gina Langenkamp, and Emma Eckstein. And Coldwater is coached by Matt Lange. Welcome to all of you. All right, moving over to Wayne Trace now. We have Connor Balmley, <coughs> Chloe Stabler, Catherine Strabel, and Tice Holmeyer. And Wayne Trace is coached by Teresa Holmeyer. Welcome to all of you. All right, everybody ready for your first 10 questions? We're 10 points apiece. I want you to relax and enjoy this, but get the buzzers ready. Speak up. <coughs> and make your answers as complete as possible. We got a lot of people watching at home that are playing along with you. So everybody ready? Let's go with question number one. What event occurred in 1929, also known as Black Tuesday? Yes, that'd be Wayne Trace. The American stock market crashed. That is correct. All right, moving now to question two. Who became Prime Minister of England in 1940? Coldwater. Margaret Thatcher. That is incorrect. You've got a chance with this one. Yes. Churchill. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill is the answer. All right. What modern vehicle was invented to circumvent trench warfare? Yes, that would be Wayne Trace. Uh, the tank. The tank is the answer. What California city did the Pony Express end in? Yes, that would be Coldwater. Los Angeles. Los Angeles is incorrect. Wayne Trace, you've got a chance. Yes. Sacramento. Sacramento is the answer. What political system was dismantled in South Africa starting in, yes, that would be Coldwater. Apartheid. That is the answer. Very good. Moving on to question six. What dirigible was made famous by crashing at Lakehurst, New Jersey on May 6th of 1937? What was the dirigible made famous by Time is up, teams. The answer is the Hindenburg. All right, number seven. In which sport could the Heat take on the magic? Yes, cold water. Basketball. Basketball is the answer. In economics, what does the letter F stand for in IMF? Coldwater. Finance. Finance is incorrect, so you've got a chance with this one, Wayne Trace. Yes. Frequency. Frequency is incorrect. The answer is fund. All right, two questions remaining in round one. Which artist reportedly cut off his ear? Yes, Coldwater. Vincent Van Gogh. That is the correct answer. And your final question. Who wrote the novel 1984? Yes, Coldwater. George Orwell. George Orwell is correct. All right, we have a score right now, and it is tied. Both teams with 40 points, and we had a toss of the coin before the game began. Coldwater, you're going to lead 
this round with your first five questions worth five points apiece. Everybody ready here? Mm -hmm. Which Apollo mission put the first men on the moon? 11. Yes. Apollo 11. 11 is correct. Where is Wayne State University? Time is up. The answer is Detroit, Michigan. All right, what is the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth? A whale. Yes. A whale. Could you expand the answer? Great blue whale. That is correct. All right, which human organ weighs about three pounds but holds more than 10 billion cells? Yes. Skin. Skin is incorrect. The brain is the answer. All right, your final question in round two. What U.S. presidential retreat was once called Shangri-La? No, answer is Camp David. All right, turning now, Wayne Trace, your five questions. Everybody ready over here? Yeah. All right. Who was Nevada's capital city named after? Mm -hmm. Time is up. The answer is Kit Carson. On a prescription, RX is the Latin abbreviation for what word? Uh, medicine. That is incorrect. The word is recipe. All right. Which mountain system stretches from Alabama to Quebec? Yes. The Appalachians. The Appalachians is correct. Okay, you have two questions remaining. During World War I, what killed more people than those killed in battle? Yes, Wayne Trace. Uh, the flu. The flu is the answer. And your final question. What date is Veterans Day celebrated each year? Yes. November 11th. That is correct. Very good. All right. We've come to the end of our first and second rounds. We have a score of cold water with 50 points. Wayne Trace with 55. We'll be back to wrap up the game right after the break. Don't go away.